Hey plant fam, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is part of my jungle. And if you're not new here, thank you for coming back. I appreciate you. Also, I know I said that the last plant mail that I got was probably gonna be my last plant mail, but I lied. I got more plant mail, but hear me out. No, I really, you know what, I really don't have, I don't have an excuse for you. <laughs> I just wanted them, and one is hopefully gonna be a really fun mother plant for me to grow out, and I look forward to it. So we are gonna open that one first. So this one on the bottom here is coming from Bobby over at Sprout and Proud. He is on Plant Story Palm Street, and I suppose Instagram too, I'm pretty sure he's on Instagram and stuff like that. So I snagged something from him, and then he's in Florida, and then this one's also coming from Florida. This is from Jasmine, again, from Aeroids in Orlando, AKA Jazz and Seeds on Instagram, and there's like a different website. It'll be probably inside the box, but. Those are Anthurium. This, this here is a philodendron that in my defense was kind of on my wish list. Not like directly, but sort of. So you'll understand what I'm talking about once I get in here. Okay, <laughs> I finally got in this box. It's packaged really well. So this is the same plant, but it's the top cut and the butt cut of that plant. So let's start with the top cut and see if we can tell what it is. So it is a variegated philodendron. I feel like it, maybe it's sport variegated. I'm not exactly sure because it's a very subtle variegation. So hopefully we can see how beautiful it is on camera. It's more of a, it has potential type of situation than anything. And hopefully it's okay. No, it's totally not okay. She's no, she's not good. Oh, that's too bad. I mean, the nodes are still good and it does still have like active growth, an active growth point right there. So I'm actually just gonna get rid of these leaves here and just like regrow it. It should be fine because this is really healthy, the stem. So that was the top portion of the plant, but now it's nodes, but that's fine. It was super cheap. And can you tell what it was? <laughs> Hopefully the bottom portion looks okay. I don't know how to open this. It's really big. Oh, it says it on there. This one's probably better because it's rooted. It's gonna probably be fine. That one was a fresh cut, so it's kind of the risk of buying fresh cuttings. So to be expected to a degree. I'm just glad that the nodes are healthy. And I can propagate it and it'll be totally fine because I was going to propagate it anyway. And a lot of the times I end up cutting off the original leaves because it takes energy away from the plant growing roots. So I ain't mad. I just want you to see how cute it is. So I'm glad that I have this bottom cut. Butt cut. This is the butt. The butt of the plant. The bottom. I've been so sassy lately and I don't know why. It's a butt. And it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it's a philodendron UPI. She just looks a little thirsty. And she is variegated. She just needs to be rehydrated. But she's green on green. I don't know if any of these leaves are showing it. So they're a little bit beat up. Man, I really wanted you guys to see how cool this plant was. I'm gonna have to like ask him to send me a pic of like a good leaf. 
on one of the plants that he has. But you can kind of see it on this leaf. <laughs> that there was like some green, lighter green streaks and whatnot. So I'm honestly probably going to chop this one into nodes as well and just like regrow some baby plants and then new stuff should grow from the bottom. So this is going to be a prop project. This is a green on green variegated UPI. I forget where he said he got these from, but I wanted to try it. And he was just giving them out for really cheap. So we got a butt cut and uh, we basically got a bunch of nodes and a rooted butt. <laughs> so that is all I snagged from him, but I really enjoy his lives. So we will be hopping in there again. Okay, you guys, the next one, some anthurium. And don't come at me and say that you would be upset about the top cutting in the comments because I'm not upset. That is perfectly healthy. It's just the leaves are gone because it was in the mail. So anthurium, I'm excited. I'm excited for these. They're probably just like little babies and you're not going to be able to really tell how cute they are. But I wanted to show you guys anyway. I thought it was interesting too that she wrapped, insulated wrapped like the outside of the box. I know some people do that, but I've never seen it before. I guess it makes sense though. Okay. Oh, feels warm like there's a heat pack. Um, yeah, so here's the box. It's a little damp, but that kind of happens with the heat pack and the insulation. So I guess it's better that it's the box than the, the inside. Um, and I ordered some fish shit. If you guys don't use fish shit, you're missing out. My plants love this stuff. It is better than just like fish tank water. It's better than your average fish emulsion. This is like can replace your micro rise. If you guys are confused about stuff like this and like what you should be putting in your water, I do have a video. I know I keep repeating myself, but it is a very informative video of everything I put in my water to take care of my plants and why I put it in there. So if you're interested in that and understanding more about stuff like this, I'll link it for you so you can go and check it out. Okay, <laughs> there's three Ethereum babies in here and I'm gonna go with the best one first because I'm very excited about this one. This is one that I hope to grow nice and big and be able to use it as not only a mother plant, but a pollinator and make some babies. I'm not gonna show you what it is yet. I'm gonna make you wait. I do like how she puts the tags on the outside though so that I know what's in each one. She just, she packages them very, 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 very nicely. My last one came so good. And I love her lives. These are both from Plant Story Palm Street. They're changing the name. It hasn't like officially changed yet, but I'm trying to get used to saying it by just saying both. So it's so small, you guys, but I'll have to put a picture on screen of what these are gonna look like when they get bigger. This one I can because it's pure. It's not a hybrid. It's kind of it's kind of hard to find pictures of hybrids. A lot of the times you'll just see like photos of the parents. But she's definitely big enough to have some of her character. You guys, look at how cute she is. This is the Anthurium Black Velvet East Panama, Eastern Panama, BVEP for short. And this is just like a pure BVP not crossed with anything. She was, she was not cheap, but she's an investment for sure. Like I said, because I hope to in the next year grow her really, really big so that she can start flowering and I can collect pollen and cross it with other anthurium. Like I'm just very excited about the future of my anthurium. I have so many forgetii 
seeds and I'm really grateful to Chris and Donna over at Rooted Rarities. Make sure you're following them on Plant Story Palm Street as well and on Instagram. They've got amazing deals and they're just really, really nice people. They hooked me up with a Anthurium forgetii that already had berries on it. So I feel like I've gotten like this like free trial <laughs> of like being able to grow out the seeds and you know figure it out before I start doing it with more expensive plants. So really cute little BBP. I'm going to put a picture on the screen of what this looks like when it matures and then uh, maybe you'll understand why why I snagged it. And when you buy them small like this, it is easier to grow them out and acclimate them to your environment. And it's also a lot cheaper. So you just have to be patient with these, but it is worth it in the end, I promise you. Okay. Next is another teeny little baby that you're not gonna be able to tell how cute she is. But this one is an Ace of Purple which I didn't even know existed. I'm a huge fan of Ace of Spades, so I was like, what's Ace of Purple? Um, and I Googled it and I saw it and I was like, ooh, that's pretty. So this is an Ace of Purple crossed with Zara Michelle, which is, um, I'm pretty sure, a Doc Block hybrid. I have an Anthurium Michelle, but like Zara Michelle is its own hybrid of the two. The Michelle is kind of like a dark, uh, not really dark. It's like a red crystal, sort of. It's got really nice red veins. Um, and then Ace of Purple. I'll just have to show you guys the parent plants on the screen so you can see what potential this babe has. Nobody ever knows what the babies are really going to look like. They all kind of look a little bit different, but usually when you buy seedlings, they'll show you the parent plants if you don't know what they look like already because they, they all look the same when they're small like this. Packaged really well, by the way. I love doing that too, where you just put the plastic cup over the top. It protects the plant. So here you go. This is the Ace of Purple crossed with Zara Michelle. You can already tell this one's a little more like billowy. So like they all like look similar to a degree, but they're also different. These ones are getting large enough that they're kind of getting their little subtle characteristics, but oh my gosh, they're just so cute. So those are two that I bought as well as the fish shit. And then she put in another little baby in here. I see something, something forgetty eye. And it just looks like maybe, oh no, these are seeds. I did, I bought these. I'm pretty sure I did. Or these are the ones, you know why? These are the ones from my last order that she forgot. So she remembered, I forgot. <laughs> I literally forgot, I thought it was a freebie. I was like, oh, cute. And then I realized, I was like, wait, no, I bought these. So this is Forgetty Eye crossed with RG Dress Forgetty Eye. So the first plant is just a regular Forgetty Eye. And then the second one is a Dress Larry Forgetty Eye cross. So cute little hybrid and these are just seeds so I I think they're germinated already I don't remember they're in this cute little plastic container with moss so let's see there's like a little moist paper towel to keep them keep them I think maybe they're in the are they in the paper towels or are they in the no Oh, okay. Oh, yep. There's just two little seeds right there. So that's what anthurium seeds look like when you take them out of their little like berry husk. There's a name for it. I don't know what it's called, but okay. 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 I'm excited. I'm actually probably just going to like leave them in here. These maybe potentially came out of the same little husk thingy. Sometimes there's two, sometimes there's one. Okay, so I think that's everything. Let's save these little plastic cups so I like to reuse them. So nothing crazy. I didn't buy anything too big. I mean, I might be back. I have like something else that's coming, but then that's it, I swear. So stay tuned for that. I just wanted to show you guys this one really quickly. 
so that I can tell you that you need to download Palm Street, P Plant Story Palm Street, and come and hang out. I'm live at least once a week. I sell rocks now and crystals and pretty stones and such as well as plants. I don't have a ton of plants right now because I'm just trying to clear out before the move so I don't have to move with as many, but I do have some really pretty crystals and stones that you should come and check out if you like that. You can also just shop my plant story shop if you can't make the lives. I do have all of my inventory listed out on my page for you so you can go over there and buy stuff if you want to. So you can also treat it as my website for right now because I haven't restocked my website in a while and I honestly don't know if I'm going to go back to using that website. So for right now, Plant Story Palm Street is where you're gonna find all of my stuff and I hope that you come and hang out. If you use my referral link, you do get a $15 coupon. Um, you also get like a couple of other benefits that I didn't know about, like free shipping on like your first couple orders and stuff like that. So you do get a lot of perks if you use my link or at least use my code and I will have that down below for you. So I'm gonna stop talking. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you would have snagged any of these because I mean if you're an anthurium person you know I don't even remember how much I paid for this but like I know that I got it for a good price the BBEP and I'm very I'm very excited about this plant in particular so I'm gonna be keeping a close eye on her probably gonna put them in my little anthurium uh, these are like all of my baby seedlings. If you guys missed that video, I went through and cleared out some of the larger anthurium, moved them up into the loft, and I put some of my newer seedlings in here, as well as just showed you updates on some of the seedlings that I've had in there for a while. So if you want some of the little mini Ikea greenhouse content, I got you. So that's it for real, real. Love you guys so, so very much. If you enjoyed this video, you should definitely give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. There's a join button if you want to be part of the official plant fam. There's super thanks button if you want to just donate a few dollars to my channel. Um, definitely come and hang out over on Plant Story. That's going to be a great way to support me as well. If you watch this whole entire video, leave me a fish emoji and then the poop emoji right after it <laughs> in honor of the fish shit. And um, I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are out there in the world. Don't forget to spread kindness. Don't forget to drink your water. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.